Hi guys, we'll run through here. Uh, here I am, back on the server guys server. Uh, I've done a lot off camera. Uh, I know I did most of this on camera in the fast forward video. I built all the stairs down into the ravine. My house is now inside of the ravine, so that's pretty cool. I'm planning on doing a lot with this. Uh, I got a dog. Uh, I actually got two dogs, but one is outside right now because anytime he comes inside, uh, he starts lighting glitch. Uh, so he's like completely black. I don't know why. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so, uh, what have I been doing while I wasn't recording? Uh, I have been doing a ton of caving. A ton of caving. Uh, I got a whole bunch of coal, a whole lot of iron, a few extra diamonds that I was able to make this sword, and I put 30 levels on it and got sharpness 3, knockback 2. Uh, I don't know if you saw this in the last video, but I had enchanted my pick and my bow, and I found a pumpkin, which I'm about to actually go plant. So, uh, that's what's been going on. Just a lot of caving. No, uh, no deaths, uh, that I can remember. Uh, I also got a record. Uh, I got a creeper shot by a skeleton. So, that's cool. Enchanted all of my armor, got protection, protection, protection. Oh, excuse me, protection and protection, but I'm going to wait until this dies before... I put new enchantments on it. Uh, what else? Oh, a new guy has joined the server. Uh, Connor, as you can see right there. Uh, he is not able to record at the moment because uh, just he doesn't have the right equipment that he needs, the right uh, software on his computer. But no big deal. Uh, once he actually gets settled in to the server and starts getting some stuff done, he'll probably end up doing some pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. A lot of farming, a lot of uh, caving. See, here's my other dog. This is Glitchy. I think I'm going to name him that when I get the chance. Um, what else? Not much. Um, just a whole lot of caving, like I said. Uh, I haven't been putting out episodes because, for one, I'm not a big fan of caving videos. So I don't want to have to put y'all through caving videos unless y'all want to see it. So if you're watching this, let me know in the comments. Do you like seeing caving videos? If so, I'll put them up. But I enjoy caving videos if the person's a good commentator but right now i'm not a good commentator um as you can see i keep saying um and i don't know what to talk about but today what we are going to do is behind this wall i'm going to clear out another area uh then i'm going to move and make my bedroom so that is what we're going to work on today. This is sort of just the main foyer, foyer, whatever you want to call it, area. So we're just going to clear out an area back here, make another staircase down, maybe up. I, don't, I can't go up too far because the ground is right there. So I'm probably just going to end up going down a little bit. So I'm going to put all of this up that I don't need. I'll keep the food out. I'll keep one sword out. Uh, yep. So, what have I been doing other than not uh, other than caving? Um, in real life, I have been working on a movie set. Uh, the movie is a small independent film made by a guy that I know 
Well, one guy that I know, one guy that I met when we started making the movie. Um, so he got me the job. Uh, the name of the movie is High Cotton. Uh, I don't know how much detail I can go into it because we're trying to keep it on sort of a down low kind of thing. But it is based off of a story that our director heard uh, when he visited a guy in prison. Um, I don't know the full story behind why he was at the prison uh, talking to people. Maybe he was just out there looking for... Uh, maybe he was just out there looking for a story. So, anyway, so the movie is going to be being filmed. It, was, it started a few weeks ago uh, towards the beginning of September, and it's going to be going until probably the end of October, which we're not exactly sure when. How many across is this? One, two, three, four, five. So I can bring it down and then into a 3x3 three three when I want to. So, the movie is based off of a true story uh, with some details changed like all true story movies are. But it's a lot of fun being on set with these guys and the actors that we've got are amazing. Uh, their names are Jody and Mark. Uh, you can find them on International Movie Database. I'll put links to everything in the description. We've got International Movie Database pages for the actors, which they've, they're actors anyway. They had their pages and all that before we even started the movie. Uh, we've also got a Facebook page and an Instagram. So I'll put links to everything that I can in the description. Uh, I, on the set, am a production assistant which means I basically help with the movie, uh, with the production of the movie. I run and get anything that's needed out of like the trailer that we've got. And also I've been boom operating, which for those of you that may not know movie business and show business will know, will probably know that a boom is the big like fuzzy mic uh, that, what was I saying, the big fuzzy mic that you see kind of hanging over the actors, which is, it's hard work, it's kind of heavy, it, once you're holding it for about five minutes at a time up above the actors' faces, but it's totally worth it, it's a ton of fun, I'm loving every minute of being on this set. Um, what else, just a lot of uh, schoolwork and a lot of caving. <laughs> That's really what I've been doing. Um, when I'm on, even if I'm not recording, I am caving. I'm going to bring... How many down is this? This is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so right here, I'll bring it into a 3x3. Three and then maybe a one by one and then clear out a big area. Um, recent updates on the server. Like I said, uh, Connor has joined. Uh, Connor actually uh, commented on my server, how to make a server video, if you've seen it. Which some of you may have come here from that video. And if you have, thank you for sticking around. Uh, so he commented on the video and still needed some help. Same with, uh, he's the exact same situation as Xander, actually. Uh, they needed help on how to make servers, and I just said, well, I've got a group of friends, well, I say a group of friends, Jonathan, who wanted to make a server to record on YouTube, so, that's how both of them were able to join. And I'm really glad that we were able to do this because uh, it's given me 
a chance to put some stuff up on YouTube that I've wanted to do for a long time was record Minecraft videos for YouTube. Um, really, that's about it on the server. Uh, new guy, and hopefully we'll add more people soon. If once again, if you want to become a part of the server, uh, just shoot any of us an email. Uh, usually all of our contact information is in the descriptions of the videos. So that's one way to get in touch with us. Um, any other ways, message us on Facebook. Uh, not Facebook, on uh, what do you call this thing? YouTube. Um, because we're wanting to make this thing pretty big. Uh, the server so we're wanting a lot of people to join and help out with just making this server a fun place to hang out and just play your standard Minecraft, uh, vanilla Minecraft. What am I? Oh, I thought there was a block under me. Um, what else is there to talk about? I need to plan stuff out before I start making these videos um under the dome ended which if you watched i think it was my second video because the first video was just all of us first getting a look at the world uh it ended the show um it was a it's really good uh i thought it was over for good but the way they ended it there's definitely going to be another season there has to be because i mean the dome is still there spoilers um but it's it was a really really good show uh i'm actually finding tons of iron so uh still not enough to be able to make the water uh tower like i wanted to but enough to get my foot in the door on tools and armor and stuff so that's good uh, I'm gonna add stairs to all of this when I get the chance probably continue these stairs um, okay plans for the ravine uh, can you sleep uh, plans for the ravine I'm wanting the ravine to kind of be a rip in the fabric of the universe. So one uh, room is going to be my nether, uh, my nether room, and it's basically going to stretch out from there that the dimensions of the world have just split open inside of the ravine. So, once I get to the nether, I'm going to be building, like, coating the walls in nether brick, nether rack, and soul sand, and uh, nether quartz, just to make it look like the nether is coming out of the portal. Uh, I'm also planning on either side uh, a big secret that I'm not going to tell you about. I was about to tell y'all, but I decided just now that I'm going to keep that a secret because I think it's going to turn out really cool if it works the way I want it to. So, yeah. Um what else? Uh, I don't know anyone else's plans on the server um, but I'm sure they'll talk about it in their videos later on so we'll see what happens there I think this might be far enough down so this is going to be I'm going I'll clear out a little bit more just straight down the middle. Just so it goes 5, 3, 1, 
and then just a big opening because right here in the wall I'll put like a piston door that just opens up this one small chamber that you just walk down so I'm sure like I said everyone else in the server is going to post is going to start talking about what they're doing I don't know if anyone else is recorded as much as me I know Xander is still uploading videos from the first day because he can't um, upload videos longer than I think 10 minutes right now because his channel is new he's not new to YouTube but he's new to making a YouTube channel uh, I'm gonna make a shovel and I'll throw a enchantment on it um, so he's still working on a few videos but Jonathan as well I don't know what he's doing as you may have seen I don't know if I was recording when he said it his uh, internet is kinda slow right now because uh, because he's just got a bad internet connection and it's been storming here recently efficiency too that's not bad um, it's been storming here pretty bad and his internet goes bad whenever it's raining pretty hard so that is why as far as I know that is why no one else has been uploading videos which isn't bad um, I'm sure ev I mean I know everyone works at their own pace and I'm I'm not rushing anyone to make videos because even I don't make them as often as I would like but it should be a really good thing once everyone starts getting their videos up and running and their channels start getting big and the server starts getting big because once we start getting more viewers then it'll be worth the time to uh, it'll be worth the time to make all of these videos I mean not that it's not worth the time now but with uh, busy schedules and stuff you need to find the time to make videos I really don't have plans for what this bedroom is gonna be I think I'm gonna stick to another theme once I get like I said once I get to the nether which I've got the stuff to get to the nether now I just don't want to be the first one to the nether without talking to everyone else about it because I don't know if anyone else has plans on making a portal anytime soon and where we're gonna put it because there are ways to just make sure you get the portal in the right spot where you want it but then there's also I think because I've already just cleared out all that dirt I'm gonna start clearing out here um, because there are ways to connect your portals the right way to where they don't intersect with each other and also with uh, 1.7 coming out soon if you've seen the uh, didn't know you left. Um, if you've seen the snapshots for it the portals are getting a huge update by size like you can now uh, once 1.7 comes out and also in the snapshots right now you can make portals that are like 23 by 23 portals which is just an insane portal uh, Doc M 77 who is a mind cracker actually uh, made a video with some of his guys showing you the new stuff you can do with the portals if you can hear that lawnmower I'm sorry um, but yeah so it looks really awesome what you can do with portals because from what it, he showed you can color coat your portals and make it to where like one portal can go to five different places or even more so that 
looks amazing. And that'll probably be what we end up doing, is just making one giant portal that leads to everyone's bases once we get it all set up and start moving farther out into the world. Because we're trying to stick to a small area for right now, so when 1.7 comes out, we'll get the biome updates. Which, everything about 1.7 and all the snapshots right now look just fantastic. Um, it's new biomes, new ways to make your world, uh, new world generators. Uh, you've got the amplified generator now, which takes regular Minecraft and just enhances it by so much. Uh, I don't even know the codes behind it, but it just takes biomes and makes them giant. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to apply that to this world because I really don't like it. It looks cool, but at the same time, it's just way too much and it doesn't look natural to me. Which, I always say, how natural can you get with Minecraft? But, it doesn't look natural to what Minecraft is. Um, I'm sure people will make Let's Plays of, like, amplified worlds and just see what the difference in all that is. But, for me, and plus also we've already got the server running. So, it would be hard to make it amplified after the fact. I'm gonna light some of this up. Alright, so how far is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by seven, I think is good enough by one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go back farther. Probably seven by seven by seven. Oh, well, seven by seven across and maybe one, two, three, four, five. Probably seven high. So it's just gonna be like a perfectly square room to start with. Don't know how far I'm gonna go from there. I'm hearing zombies. So there may actually be something around here. Hopefully I run into like a zombie spawner or something that I can just hang right off the side of my bedroom. Um, I've rambled on for 23 minutes. So that's actually pretty good considering I didn't really say anything. Um... Uh, oh, I didn't even talk about the new intro. Uh, that is an intro that you saw at the beginning that I made using a program called Minimator. Um, it was it, it took a while to make just because I was in Florida for a while while I was making it. Which is another reason I wasn't making videos. But... It, it took a long time because it was kind of slowing down the computer and I was with family in Florida. But I think it turned out pretty cool for what it's worth, not ever having used that software before and just throwing something together. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was cool. I enjoyed making it. But, I think I'm going to go, and I'm going to finish working on this. Uh, I'll clear it out, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.